dude, dude's on his knees, almost ready to die, and he's still like, mm -mm. "Nah, you ain't even relevant enough." <laughs> L, <laughs> get noticed, stupid. <laughs> I am a One Piece fanatic right now. I just started the series, like literally just started it, and we're already we're already a hundred episodes in. A little over that. We're in Alabasta arc. Anyways, I've I've already finished East Blue Saga, so I was like, why not check out the sweet, sweet live action? I'm freaking hype. I'm somebody who graduated film school and also went to university for psych and English, so I get really obsessive over like how interpretations of media ha happen. So let's get straight into the nonsense. But hey, before we get started, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quads. Seriously, you can binge like my entire JoJo's reaction, One Piece, chill here for the One Piece live reactions. You know what to do, shoddy. On top of that, you can check us out over on Patreon for just five bucks a month for early access to episodes, unfiltered, uncensored, uncut. We are close to 100 Okay, so it would be appreciated if you joined us for the journey. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> loud is it loud? Loud. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. This is a world like no other. Like no other. One brimming with mystery. Brimming with mystery. With teeming, teeming. <laughs> Throughout these seas are those who live according to their own oh. who seek a life of freedom and adventure. I okay, I'm this, so sorry. The background music has a harpsichord in it, bruh. <laughs> what the fuck is this ensemble for the music? <laughs> I was like, that goes hard as shit. It goes like that the way that it sounds alongside the trumpets, dog. That shit lit. <laughs> I was like, who busts that out? <laughs> it's a world of pirates. Ooh. Piracy is the scourge upon this world. Oh my god, the accent. Scourge. Scourge. I like it. I like it. Seas. I'm very simple. But the Marines. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Spooky's town. I call Smoker Smokey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I absolutely love how they did the wanted pose. <laughs> Shit. Okay, okay. I was be like, what? I love the way they designed the poster, but the way they do this, uh, this down like tilt upwards angle. And then they have like the, the perfectly the flyer go on top of it and it overlay his face. Bro, good cinematography. Of terror ends this I wonder who their, their director of photography even is. Restored. I should check that. Let this be a message to break the spirit of anyone foolish enough to follow in its footsteps. That's right, he died with a smile. Oh, Roger. Yep. You have been sentenced. Is it weird if I find that old man hot? <laughs> Where is your treasure? Not where you hit it. Oh, yeah. oh my god, was that supposed to be young Mihawk? Did you guys see him? Was that young Mihawk? <laughs> we just passed. Also, um, I know that when I watched, when I reacted to the live action trailer, that people told me that that was supposed to be Garp standing on top of there, who looks like a hot gilf in this, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna know where my treasure is? I'll tell you. Oh. Wealth, fame, power. Oh, I love the way this is shot. Oh. This is a shot so much like Les Mis. God damn. Oh, get you! Damn! Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, you stabbed him once. I think you got him. You turned his ass into a shish kebab. You good? The second push through, I did not expect. The first one, I was like, oh yeah, talk over it. Not really give a shit that much, right? We knew he finna die. Until they pushed a second time. You got him, chief? 
Relax. <laughs> was that supposed to be okay? Was that supposed to be a young smoker? <laughs> The kid in the crowd with the light ass hair, bro. <laughs> that wig on that child. <laughs> no, they just is that? A, yeah, it's definitely a wig. Never mind. I was gonna be like, oh, they just bleached his hair super hard because of the way they did this line. But then you look further and you can tell it's actually a wig cap. Oh my god, <laughs> this poor. You know what, kid? You got paid, and that's what matters. But oh my god, the hairstyle. <laughs> they did not. I mean, the hairstyle is kind of what gave away that it is. <laughs> that it is smoky but <laughs> so I guess it worked it did its job god the set design looks just like that like the, ta the, ta like the square a new age was born the great pirate era yeah. Setting off a race across the seas to find the pirate king's hidden treasure. <laughs> the treasure the whole time was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Every One Piece fan just gets buys a fucking gun. <laughs> oh, one piece. oh, I thought for a second it was about to hit the Lost Woods theme. <laughs> He's not in a barrel. <laughs> Become king of the pirates! Oh. I All I need is a loyal crew. About 10 men. Who the fuck is he talking to? Well, ten men and the bird. Oh shit! Yeah, that was in the trailer! Oh my god, I forgot about that. I was sitting here confused as a bitch. I was like, are they gonna just keep breaking the fourth wall and having Luffy explain to us his journeys? I that's why I looked like I was like, what I had like the WTF vibes going on, because I was like that is such a terrible narrative structure. We're not in 2012 where like the peak of like mockumentaries and people breaking the fourth wall and being meta was funny. We're past that. Move on, right? We don't want to turn into Velma, which is just a bunch of meta jokes. We don't like that shit. So I was worried until he turned around to talk to the carrier pelican. Now, now, now we're safe. We're safe again. We're safe again. It's pretty big. Kind of dangerous. So what do you say? Are you with me? He said, nah, bitch, I got work. The fuck is wrong with you? He said, you look back, he said, the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? I got bills to pay. <laughs> also, can we talk about how this is the perfect actor to play Luffy? Just the way that he, pre like, the way he performed in that first little scene, right? Even the way that he, when he yelled, you could hear his chest vibrate because he's just, like, this happy, carefree, like, he has the happy, carefree kid vibes. Like, he matches that so well. Oh, it's so satisfying. Like, what a great, like, perfect casting for, for Luffy. But heads up, I will not be dick riding the show. I will just be giving my honest opinion. So if there's shit that I don't like, don't kill me. Okay? Relax. Relax. Just just say it to the commenters if I say something mean eventually. But no, I like this kid. How old is he? I wonder how old he is as an actor. Oh, he's going to the barrels. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. We're gonna see Aldiva! We're gonna see Kobe! Whoa. Who the fuck mixed their audio, bruh? They said, oh, like, everything else? Yeah. You're, you could turn down your sound effects and it can still be shocking. <laughs> The sound effects remain the same if we lower the volume to equalize a little bit. 
I would just like to point that out. It will still convey the point. We did not need to go that loud. That did not match your other audio at all. Just put it out there. But Alicia, it's cannons! That's supposed to blow your off! Okay, yeah. And they also depict fucking bombs in in shows. Oh. Sorry, her nails are fucking iconic. Oh my god. They also play, yeah, sorry. They also portray bombs in a lot of shows, and it doesn't sound like an actual bomb happening. You know what I'm saying? Like the volume of it. It doesn't sound like the sound effect. Oh my god, my nose is runny. Sorry. Okay. Also, Eldiva. <laughs> her nails kind of kind of slain though. Okay, they're gonna do that every time. It's cheeky, it's a little corny, and I love it. Stylistically, this love it. <laughs> and like the bounty appearing too. That's cool. Cruel to me. Let's show him what true terror looks like. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that cut to black was sick. Also, I just want to say, uh, where is he? Where's one dude who's just me for real? Hold on. Hold on. I think, I think it's, this is the shit that I'd be doing. <laughs> I gotta swing the sword? Me? Shawty, I just got my nails did. <laughs> I ain't trying to swing no sword. Hello? What if I get blood and gunk under my... Mm, I paid I paid $60 for this. <laughs> I'm gonna be cheering on the sidelines though. I got you. Someone hand me a sword. I need to look fashionable. Yeah! Yeah! I don't know. Like, listen, they're protecting the ship so no one can mutiny back over onto their ship or whatever. Yeah. But still... I be hire me as a crude cheerleader, dog. That's that's the move, right? Nami can navigate. I can cheerlead. I'm mad cute. <laughs> okay, I mean... <laughs> One more time, the cut to black. One more time, give us the cut to black. Yeah, the way the music ends. Oh, they let the note hang in the air. Ooh, beautiful. Ah. Actually, your maid wasn't on. <laughs> oh, hit him. <laughs> Sorry. He said, he said, bitch, you really ain't shit. <laughs> That's crazy. That was, dude, dude's on his knees, almost ready to die. And he's still like, mm -mm. nah, you ain't even relevant enough. <laughs> L, <laughs> get noticed, stupid. <laughs> Kobe, clean up this mess. Come on, Captain, oh, the way she spat at that. Oh, they really kept that in there. <laughs> Who's the most powerful oh, the okay. That's a good casting for Kobe. <laughs> that's, that's not me calling the actor a rat bitch, but he portrays a rat bitch pretty well. <laughs> pretty well. <laughs> good acting. Oh, 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 this is how they're gonna show Luffy being opened? Oh, they're not gonna do it during the fight sequence. Okay. Actually, if they cast anyone who wasn't this guy, th that is the wrong Luffy. This is this is the only correct Luffy you could have ever fucking picked. Okay? <laughs> that was too good. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm so sorry. I thought I said, I need you to be white. Because <laughs> the way he pronounced the Q. And I was like, I think he's got it accomplished. 
Now, Luffy, I'm not sure if you can tell. <laughs> you really live here? What? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Is it a flashback to Shanks? What's this flashback? That's a flash. Yeah. The, wow. Incredible, like, color grading for the fact that, like, you showed me drops for a transition. And yeah, like, this slight music change was cute, too. But, like, bam. Beautiful job to put us into a, a flashback. Very smooth transition. Shanks. He's back. Good casting choice to play like young Luffy. Yeah, whoever was their casting director did a fantastic job. Shanks! Oh, you beat me! <laughs> I'm not an urchin. I'm a pirate. <laughs> oh, tiny child, you do not match the older Luffy's accent. Uh oh. <laughs> he's trying though, but he's not hitting that accent. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm ready to join your crew. No, nah, he don't. He's really trying for the accent that's not working. Oh. I can do it, Shanks. I swear. <laughs> this kid's so bad at acting. I don't want to shit on a child, but I can do it, Shanks. <laughs> it's like he forgot the name. <laughs> he was too busy thinking about his, his arm being placed on this box and his footing and, then, and cheating his shoulders for the camera. He just didn't even... Oh no, tiny child, no. <laughs> I am, and I'll show you. That's cute. They were trying to mimic the, the bar scene, but like on the ship instead. Wow, that's bar for bar what he said in the anime, right? I'm pretty sure. Put it down, Luffy, before you hurt yourself. I'm not afraid of getting hurt, and I'll prove it to you. Luffy! <laughs> I thought we were going to do the the moment where he eats the devil fruit. That thing. You know where he just Y'all remember when he just did that? He just ate a devil he just ate the devil fruit in front of them. I just thought that was what's going to Okay. <laughs> cool, I guess. <laughs> This actor is everything, dude. <laughs> so why don't you just leave? No one leaves Alvita. She never let me go. You should never let anyone tell you what you can't do. If mm. I did that, I never would have left my village to go find the One Piece. Gold Roger's treasure. That's impossible. And every pirate in the world is after. I just want to say. These two have been cast extremely well. I know I said it earlier, but I really like Kobe's acting performance, and I'm not going to get the fuck over how Luffy's, like, this guy is literally just Luffy, dude. <laughs> this guy's personality. Like, I don't know if that's just his acting is that good, but he he's so naturally, like, perfectly carefree that it doesn't feel, it doesn't even feel like it's acting because he's that level of talented. Jesus. Oh, he's just a sweet little cinnamon roll of a man. <laughs> about. Why shouldn't I be the one to find it? As soon as I'm out of here, I'm on my way to the Grand Line. Pirate graveyard. A hundred foot waves and sea beasts that'll crush your bones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
puts its head at the stern of the ship. Oh, I'm like, I'm like nervous while they're creeping around the people already. <laughs> I'm like holding my breath. <laughs> Luffy just not giving a fuck, just walking up normally. <laughs> I've got a new one of these. Head you north. Should it land in a few days. North. Which way is north? <laughs> Oh, shit. Answer me, you sniveling right. He doesn't have to. Toby's his own man. <laughs> no, no, he's not. He's mine. And he'll always be mine. That's not what he told me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh damn that, that choreography is pretty sick oh okay oh yes yes Okay, bad, bad. Okay, I w okay my my, <laughs> my CG hopes for like when we first saw that first bullet go into his body and then fling out were so high. Cause I saw it and I was like, that was good, that was really good. And then we had this moment immediately after, <laughs> and then we had. <laughs> Immediately after we had this, bro, <laughs> bro. <laughs> okay. What kind of monster are you? This tragic guy. Okay, he's so he's a precious. It's an, okay, no, that's okay. Okay, the stretchy arms are super in the Uncanny Valley. I don't know if you guys know what the Uncanny Valley is, so I'm going to quickly explain it. Uncanny Valley is when something is, uh, like, you know, like, the human brain likes to, like, separate things into categories and groups. So when you have something that resembles something else, but, like, it's not enough of one or the other, it makes your brain uncomfortable. And that's, like, the Uncanny Valley. So, for example, if I took, like, a weird, like a like a weird ass, stretchy ass rubber arm that doesn't look like it belongs to his body, and but isn't like cartoonish enough for my brain to be chill with it. But it's like trying to be realistic, so my brain's like, oh, that doesn't work. We're in the uncanny valley, so we go make me feel weird every time, and maybe some of you too, depending. <laughs> oh, that's dope. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, hell no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> food for a few days me yeah you're coming with me right <laughs> and the fire just reflected perfectly in his glasses during it uh there's one thing i really want to talk about uh for those of you guys who are new to my channel i do a lot of talking segments where like i talk about film and I talk about aspects of narrative plot things like that all the time so uh, I'm less of like a full reactor. I'm more like a commentary reactor at the same time kind of vibe. Okay. So uh, one thing I want to talk about here was 
the way that they shoot this is very similar to Les Mis. I don't know if you guys watch like Les Mis or Alves. Like it's 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 uh actually a play that they turn into a movie, and uh, the film of it was just like it was fantastic, and the way that it was shot was very compelling and over dramatic. And the same sort of shot theory and shot style is definitely reflected in this, which I love. Um, and yeah, I guess like that's kind of, one of the main points I wanted to bring up. So what you're going to notice a lot of the time too is the way that they like they use depth of field so that they're constantly like blurring out the background more and then keeping things really focused on the face. You're going to feel like everything is like a little too detailed when it comes to people's faces because they constantly are doing close-ups and creating that massive depth of field. Now... On top of all of that, too, um, the reason this is usually done is because you have such beautiful establishing shots that you want to make, like, totally crystal clear, and you want it so that every time you show one of these larger establishing shots with, like, beautiful, like, uh, attention to detail, it feels like you're world building properly. So it's like everything's fleshed out, and at the same time, you don't feel like they're cheaping out or copping up by blurring out your your experience yeah i'm sorry is he taking him on a date the fuck is this never mind <laughs> i take it back i didn't realize it was gonna be zoro that's my bad <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was kobe and luffy still <laughs> oh we got the slow-mo oh what's your frame rate oh look at that frame rate oh Oh, you must have been fil filming. Oh, all kinds of frames. Oh, shoddy. You can come out. People often visit shrines to light candles for those they've lost. Who are yours for? This one is for someone I knew a long time ago. And the other? For you? You've been following me for three days. What do you want? You may call me Mr. Civic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is supposed to be Mr. C Why is he here? <laughs> We're in the first episode. This is not Baroque Works part yet. <laughs> what? I, bro, I didn't even put that together at all. Yeah. to forfeit your life if they were that serious they should have sent someone better than see look at this look at this extreme close-up do you see how blurry everything is outside of his face and the softening edges of his face too and then we have like extreme detail even down to like the little skin pores that's what i was kind of mentioning before oh okay okay that camera that camera worked for Okay, never mind. I like it again. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. They shot that. So, the okay, this is the cool. This is cool as shit. I now realize how they're filming a lot of this. So, they have one dude with a fucking steady cam who's literally rotating and dipping down physically below the characters. It's not some crane going around them. There's definitely going to be that too for like a shots that they want to do. But the ones that are like punched in like that is just some dude running with a steady cam with other ops behind him holding the, the oh my God. It, I, it, like, it just clicked for me. He's like, these two shots steady. These are on sticks, right? Sticks is just referring to like a tripod basically. Like it's just whatever. Anyways, um... Hold on, ready for this? So, we're still fine here. This this entire part here. <laughs> the best part is you can see how his hand is is leaning is tilting the sword upwards so it goes above the person too. <laughs> oh, that's satisfying. And then we have this one where they walk around too. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. But yeah, there's gonna be like a lot of ones that are on cranes too. So like, it's not like all of them are like that, but there's just little ones that are just, where well, you could really feel 
like when it's happening. Steady cams though normally like have like a lot of counterbalancing and counterweights and stuff, so you don't really notice shaking or anything. A lot of the time that's stylistic choices. So it's not like I'm like, oh I noticed the shake, so I know it's that. That's not true. A lot of the time you get perfectly still footage by doing that. Um, but it's just the way that when you keep tight in a certain way, it makes things feel a lot more practical and you can feel that through that. Oh my god, yes. It's giving! <laughs> Okay, okay, I like that. I like that shit. You see that? It blew out everything. Oh my god, it's so Oh, the fight choreography is so fun. Holy shit. Oni Kitty! Okay, damn, they showed the body fall apart. He turned that man into sashimi. Oh, damn, I like their cuts to black, bro. It's corny, and I like it. Okay. I like it. Anyone stand up to her before? She shouldn't have messed with you. How did you stretch like that? Again, you notice like the extreme detail of him and the very blurry, like like looming soft like essence of the background. Um, like I think like a lot of these choices gives it a very anime esque feel, which is also really cool. Like I really appreciate when when you can kind of mimic that same sort of feeling a lot, especially with something like the way that like Zoro's swords like took out the candle flames. I don't like it when people, when you make an adaptation and you like overcommit to trying to make it one way or the other. I don't like it when you're super commit to like making it seem more realistic. And I don't like it when you do it the other way around where you're like trying to make it follow too hard in the stylistic choices of, of the anime. Because at the end of the day, the anime is going to be superior just because of what you're able to do with animation versus what you can physically do for for what budget you can, right? But I think this accomplishes it all super well while feeling satisfying. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So far, I really like a lot of the casting. I think my favorite casting is Luffy and Zoro so far. Kind of a long story. Oh, good transition. I didn't get your eye. I was aiming for it, but I missed. You said you were tough. I am. Don't think you're too good. I want everyone to see my scar. Scars don't look like around nothing. That is not the face of his wanted poster. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's cute. So you're not ready? My ship already has an anchor. I'm not an anchor. <laughs> I guess he can't swim. Oh, never mind. His shirt said that. Never mind. <laughs> stupid shanks. Oh, stupid treasure. Little Angie beam. Sorry. So when he stabbed his face, he didn't eat the fruit yet. <laughs> I just I, uh, is that what I don't remember. I thought he just ate the fucking fruit. I don't. Was it in that order? I don't remember it being in that order. They were sitting talking, and then he. What? Am I just? Maybe I'm just mis. I mean, don't. I'm either misremembering or this is just, I don't, okay. I thought he ate, okay. Man, I need to go, I don't, huh. It looked like Play-Doh, don't eat that shit. Yeah, it definitely played out, dog. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh yeah, this nobody had ass. I forgot. I'm afraid we're out. That'd be awful, friend. Yeah, he's an eight million berry bounty. No one give a shit about you, ugly ass. Oh, 
You hear that background music? Spill a drink on me. But you should have fought back. You know what? This seems pretty accurate. I'll take it. Damn. <laughs> he said, Why'd you go beat his ass, old man? The fuck is that? <laughs> to be good. You're not a real man. You're nothing but a coward. You see? Oh, he said the C word. I told you you weren't ready. <gasps> Wait, Luffy. Uh oh, rough row. That's a baby. Oh, yeah. Next up is a grand line. Do you know how to I got just the ship on fire in the background. You can't navigate. You don't even have a map. <laughs> Good point. Damn, he was digging up for gold. <laughs> God damn. We should probably pick one of those up. We have made a mistake. Maybe we should have left Alvita. Oh, shit. I've been saying Aldiva. I was thinking of Godiva, like the chocolates. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'm gonna call her Alan. That's one of my favorite scenes in One Piece, by the way. It was just episode one, Luffy meeting Kobe. And then just smacking the shit out of him. <laughs> and just being like, you stupid. <laughs> I, it's what made me, like, after just one episode, be like, oh, yeah. This is a vibe. This is it. Like, <laughs> I know a lot of people talk about how, like, early One Piece isn't, like, he's like, blah, 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 blah. You have to wait till you get to Arlong Park to actually enjoy it. Like, no, bruh. Early One Piece was still sick, dog. I don't give a fuck, man. To establish a lead character like that is wild. <laughs> they said he really speak with his whole ass chest. <laughs> you being dumb. Now spit it out. <laughs> he said, use a dumb hoe. <laughs> spit your shit out. <laughs> Goofy ass. Want to join the military? I've always wanted to be big. <laughs> Chonke. Oh, Mil Marines. Yeah, ah, I said military. I ain't that smart. <laughs> want to protect people, but they can't protect themselves. I fucking hate it. I hate it. He's Luffy, dude. This kid. Like I, I keep calling him a kid. He's probably like around maybe like younger than me he feels like he's younger than me i don't know he just he portrays luffy so well he gives me like the baby energy you know he gives me a little cinnamon roll happy bean energy anyways okay you know what luffy there's always those like friggin' long ass shots of him just sitting there with one expression and they just cut to his i mean they do that with everybody where they like intercut people's facial expressions while they like, aren't moving or doing anything this is so accurate to that <laughs> where luffy's just sitting there like or, or like, no expression. Like, it's just, it just matches that so much. <laughs> he got, like, a little twinkle in his eye. I like him.
okay. this is a sweet baby angel. So, <laughs> I will protect him. Next marine base. I get my map. Luffy. And you can join up. Yeah. Man, if they casted a bad right. Luffy, do you know how much people would hate this shit? You can't just waltz into a marine base and ask for a map to the Grand Line. Don't worry. I'm stealthy. <laughs> yeah, you got a problem with it? Elsewhere in the East Blue. Damn, we got dirty ass nails. Oh, she does. Oh, it's Nami. What up, Nami? Damn, her eyes are bloodshot. Help me. Wait a second, this scene? You're luck, sweetheart. We're all the help you need. I remember I remember the scene. I just this but this scene took place after they already went to um the restaurant. And then Nami took off, right? Isn't that when it happened? Or is it before that? I don't remember. My brain is getting all scrambled up, man. It's just er man. I'm so alabasta pilled right now. I don't even remember East Blue as well as I should. <laughs> Are they gonna show Kuro? Holy shit! Please! Oh my god, imagine if they have Kuro with his I stand like a seven bitch ass. Oh my god, please. <laughs> Swapsy Tradesies, I'll take your boat. Bye. Swapsy Tradesies. Maybe it did happen a part in this part of the sh in the anime, man. I just don't really remember it like that. Oh no! I remember when it happens, because she ends up going. You know, like the second, the second place where you actually like, we actually like meet Buggy. That's where she does it. It wasn't going to Arlong Park. It was the other part. It was like episode. It was just like the early few episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mixed it up. Cause she's, cause like it, I thought it was the part where she goes to Arlong Park, but no, she just had the actual ship for that. What happened was, is that this took place in, um, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Got it now. Because she got the dinghy from the first episode, and then she's, she swaps up going to the buggy place where she, she have that big ass bag of money. <laughs> and Luffy gets stuck in a cage. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to pick his ass up by the bird thing again. That is true. <laughs> I haven't eaten. I'm on an empty stomach. More is better. More is better. You gotta feed the brain. <laughs> God damn, he's got a lot of plates. Good job circling around to show us the gravity of how much he's eaten. That's a terrible idea. Keep your eyes open. Hey, what up, Zaro? Hey. Okay. Yeah, this is a weird way for them to. Okay, Baroque. <laughs> Yeah, Baroque works, but like broke ass works, bro. Cause they, they bro. Oh, this is crazy. Hey, oh, oh, oh! It's the unicycle ass bitch, the one with the scarf. Is that because Nami wants a short king? 
Hey, yo, short kings. Hey, this your time. <laughs> that unless she's trying to like pickpocket or do some shit. But like, I'm just saying that would have been a W, right? You like rum? Yeah, sure. As much as the next guy. I'm not asking the next guy. Damn, girl. What's this? Rice ball for you. You made them yourself. Oh my god, they're doing the scene. But instead of him being tied up in the in the yard, he's wait, that's that's an interesting way to go about it. Cause I remember the trailer having him being tied up in the yard. But now they have her feeding him here, and then Luffy doesn't meet I guess I don't huh, okay, whatever. I'll to go. He's supposed to be stuck there for like a long ass time. Stupid, stupid girl. Oh, they st they still did hurt him stepping on the rice cake thing. They still did it, I guess. Damn. <laughs> like, oh my god. The, okay, can, we, can I just say it? Can we just say it? The actor for Zoro is so fucking hot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, I, like, I'm trying to. I was like, you know what? I don't want to simp. I don't want to be the. I don't want to. Nah. I'll simp over anime characters. Whatever. But he's just really pretty. <laughs> like, <laughs> so I just want to point it out. <laughs> Good casting. Good casting. I do want to punch him in the face. Yes. Good casting. W. W. Yeah. You nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> And he's still gonna eat it off the ground? But the- this- for this scene it doesn't make sense. Okay, well he's still- Okay. you eat one. And apologize to the girl. Okay, do you know actually? The way they wrote this has to be different so that it makes sense for her to give him the rice balls here and still follow the kind of part of that scene. So narrative wise, I think they did a good job executing that because it still was able to get that iconic scene in there, is able to kind of get that thing. But technically, what it like we all know what actually happened, right? Where it's like in the anime where or like manga, I guess like I'm, I'm, I don't read the manga, I just do the anime. Um, where she comes and gives him the rice balls. He's like, he's like. Yay. Eh. I don't want him. Right? And then guy comes over, stomp, 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 stomp. And then he still eats it anyways. <laughs> right? And then, like, but that's because he's so hungry. He's been starved out for days. This shows that he just cares about the kid's feelings a lot more. And I know Zoro is compassionate. It's just, it's just surprising they went that route. Do you know who I am? That's right. He's spitting. Oh my god, I love how this is shot. Look at him. Look at him. Look how much. Like they. Oh no, just one more before before you go into the fight scene. Like look how in focus his forehead and the like the foreground of like ah. Like they do such a good job. Like. Like how sharp this is and it starts to fade out a little bit across his body though and then in the back it's extremely blurry like the depth of field is crazy like the way that they like go about it is so oh it's just oh it feels so fucking good dude <laughs> i love it i love this way he's shot it's because they're actually cr oh oh fuck The choreography of this is better than the actual, than the actual bar scene. This is way, this, this is way better than the anime for the choreography fight scene here. Holy shit! Give me an anime that's just, I mean, give me like a show that just fully, this guy beaten ass. I'll watch it. Oh, oh, fuck. 
Oh fuck, he hit that. He hit the whoa, but without the arm up. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look what he dodges here. Hold on, hold on. With the two guys swinging him. Look at this shit. Look, ready, ready, ready. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, ready? Whoa, hey. <laughs> he hit the end. <laughs> A mess. Rora Noah Zoro, the demon. <laughs> Most feared pirate hunter. Damn, they do good casting. Under the East Blue. That's crazy. I'd say even he, that. even like, yeah, Morgan, so right? Was his name? Seek my money and go. You'll collect your bounty. But the penalty for assaulting a Marine is seven Hogan? strung up in the yard. Hogan? Bitch ass? <laughs> I forgot he was bitch ass. <laughs> My apologies. Does he got leopard print pants on? <laughs> Wait, hold on. What are these pants? What's this pants situation going on? I like you. Oh, we should be working for the same team. Yeah. Like a hell of a marine. I feel like he's trying to fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, this scene has way more sexual tension than the anime ever did. <laughs> Dog, this is <laughs> this is this is the beginning of a porno. <laughs> Kinda got my own thing going on. Doesn't leave much time for playing dress up. Okay, they definitely go fuck. They got they got the eye contact. I shame to lose a man of your talents. Since you won't be able to collect a bounty at any marine base once I get the word out. So what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, I like the way his voice crumble. Oh, now they go put him in the yard. And they like, it's better than yours. Damn right. It's better that than yours. I could treat you, but I have to charge. And what's with the third sword? I mean, where does it even go? <laughs> oh. <laughs> where does it even go? <laughs> you have to protect that little girl. There are going to be good Marines and bad Marines, too. That's my emotionally intelligent king. That's right. You'll be one of the good ones. I mean... I'm gonna be real with you, shoddy. I know you said that, it, like, oh, I don't... Like, El like, Aldiva was right. I don't even know. Like, I don't know about the world. And do you know what? That shit is true. <laughs> you don't know about the world. But you know what? You gonna get to learning. Hey, cool. Cool. Okay. Um, I have to point it out because it's gonna bother me if I don't mention it. See this dark lining here? And it's spilling into the face right here. Bad makeup job. You're supposed because like, the thing is like you contour when you contour faces, you do like kind of put it into the hairline a bit, but it's like bleeding into his face now, and it's just I don't know. Bad bad job on the makeup. It's more noticeable when he was laying down. Here it looks a little bit more like a shadow, but I'm not gonna click back. Oh, you can tell a lot right here, actually. Yeah. This part's shading of the face, highlight of the cheek, but like this part right here is more noticeable than the front part. Even like even his contour here is too dark. Like when you can visibly see the con, like the makeup itself is too dark for him for the contour lines. Yeah. Yeah.
what's so special about this old thing? Hmm? Enjoy these seven days, because you and I again. Oh, he talks like a serial killer. <laughs> Damn. Oh no. The boys are going to come to the yard. My milkshakes. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, Nami was saying too tall because she's trying to steal the outfit. And then we saw her taking off the buttons earlier to take the guy's outfit. Yeah. God, I love the way they do folk. Like, dude, look how sick this is. And it reminds me of literally those exact shots in the- This was like coming his eyebrow. It reminds me of those exact shots in the anime where they do all those crazy-ass close-ups all the time of people's faces and they cut between different faces of close-ups. They got like the same vibes when they do shit like this. I like it. I like it. <laughs> he didn't climb over the wall. He just fucking... <laughs> the little rat bitch <laughs> roamed underneath. Where am I? What's going on here? Hey, you're the guy from the bar. You get lost. I am lost. <laughs> I'm trying to get inside the base. <laughs> hey, I saw the way you fight. How did they even arrest you? They didn't. I like him. I like. Oh my god, this is such a good Luffy. <laughs> this is such a good Luffy and Zoro. Yeah. That's what you are. You should join my crew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what makes you think I'd want to play pirates with you? You're a great fighter. I said that together we'd make a pretty good team. <laughs> I kill your kind for a living. Pirate. Hunter. You keep saying that. <laughs> You want to be the greatest swordsman? Let's go! To become the world's greatest swordsman. Mm -hmm. That's right, you did. Is he going to go get the swords? Good luck on the sword thing. Hey. Huh. Can you close this behind me? Join him. Join him, Zoro. You have to go get your swords anyways. No. Nah. Didn't get any. Hey, you're that girl from the bar. You only stole my uniform. Holy shit! He almost shot her ass down. Oh my god. This is fun. Dang, they got her with the bow staff. Let's go. <laughs> Is she gonna keep the stick so she has a boast? Oh! This sweet baby angel. <laughs> I I honestly love this live action so far. I know there's gonna be people who shit on it or whatever. Fuck you guys, okay? You can have your own opinions. Keep them opinions away from me. I'm having too much fun. I'm having too much fun! <laughs> This is so corny. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, whoa, hey, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm taking you into Luffy talks to women like they're dogs, confirmed. Hey, no. Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> Nami, do be a bad bitch, though. Eh. <laughs> Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Now you're looking for my map. Your map? Yep. My mm -hmm. map to the Grand Line. It's my map, and I'm not leaving here without it. Suit yourself. Oh. Hey, hey get back here! No. Oh, never mind. Oh. Oh, <laughs> they're so cute. This is so cute. <laughs> See? Hello. How to be safe? That's their plan? Just walk into that same warden's office and ask him for the map? I may have to fight him for it. What do they call him outside anyways? We will up him to get us both <laughs> caught if he keeps stomping over. Why do they call him Axe Hand anyways? I don't know, Luffy. No clue, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why people call me Tits McGee. It's very strange. I wonder why if there's like a reason or something. I don't... Hmm. <laughs> The genuine little accent. <laughs> this actor's too perfect for Luffy. He's too perfect. Damn, the aviators? Sheesh. All right. Put your nipples away. Oh, shit. Don't be one of those people who like do this shit while they're naked. Oh god, have pants on. Oh, he does not. Oh, he just- His booty cheeks jiggled! I looked! I looked! <laughs> not playing with your sword with your other sword out! Oh, hell no! Also, I totally respect having a teddy bear that, like, has your drip, okay? That's just mad cute. I ain't got no problem with that. I'm just making fun of the fact he had his sword out with his sword out. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. <laughs> Not top of his dick. Oh, hanging him outside with his dangling out? Because that would be kind of great. I mean, she's the best of the worst. <laughs> I hate Marines. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do this shit in real life so often. <laughs> I, I, I just cringe because, like, I do that so often. I'm so embarrassed. I don't know if anyone else is like that. Where someone's like, Alicia, cover for me. Or like when your friend tries to get a free dessert from a restaurant and they're like, just say it's my birthday. And I'll be like, uh, yeah, birthday. I'm sorry I didn't get you a present. <laughs> and I'll start panicking. <laughs> and I'm like, right, right. No, I totally, yeah, no, birth, yeah. <laughs> It's not even like, like, listen, everybody tells lies, little lies here and there, whatever. Like, it's just a part of life. But man, I fucking, I suck. <laughs> man, I suck. Like, I can do like those little stupid lies everyone does where you're like, oh, I'm fine when you're really not. Like, everyone does that shit at some point, okay? Because you don't want to inconvenience others. That's fine. But in my day-to-day -day life, if someone's like, hey, Alicia, can you just like, you know, right? Bruh, I never once did shit with a fake ID or anything. Uh. Not also because I didn't want to, but I have friends who did. And all I could think about is, man, if I ever tried, I'd be caught instantly. I'd be like, yeah, this, this is me. Oh, yes, my, mm-hmm. I am of old ages. Yes. <laughs> 
And now I'm just old. Fuck. <laughs> My wayward son. <laughs> that's cute because she was saying that all the time before too in the anime oh yeah that makes sense yeah <laughs> Let's get one thing straight. I am never planning anything with you. I. I think I actually like. I like. I like this actor for Nami. I think she like handles the anger and like the f internal ferocity that Nami does have at the start before she like kind of heals after our long park. But she also does it do it in a way that like berates or belittles people. I think a really shitty trope in a lot of animes is where you have women who like are strong or independent or like have a bit of bite to them. But then you make them overly that way where they start making fun of people. And Nami is one of the is one of the better written characters, right? Where she's somebody who doesn't have that. She's just serious and she's motivated as shit. And she doesn't mind teasing you, but she doesn't do it in a way that like actually is meant to like, you know, really push a line which i super adore about her and i think the actor portrays that super well without being like oh you're just a little dumb brat blah 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 like that kind of feeling that sometimes can happen in adaptations instead she's just like no i'm not joining you no you, you ain't shit i don't even like pirates right like it's the exact same way that it was in the anime which is cool yep that's right you tell him oh you tell him oh Sneaky deaky. Bop. This guy really likes himself. I'm going to find the map. It's oh, you're not here. <laughs> but I am here. Why do you want the map so badly anyway? Honestly, bruh. <laughs> Is it vain? If I kind of want a photo of me like that, <laughs> is it vain or like, <laughs> or is it just fucking cool? Maybe. You know what? I got a little bit of an ego, so us maybe it's just that, you know. But. <laughs> and become king of the pirates. Figures. What? Every idiot dreams of finding the One Piece. People likely believe in something and you don't even know what it is. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't you? So why did you decide to become a thief? <laughs> I didn't decide. I needed to eat. You do what you have to to survive. <laughs> Vibes. Oh no, don't try to pick it up. It's going to fall or something. Oh my god, no. Oh, never mind. Oh, wow. I was completely wrong. I was completely wrong. Holy shit. By the authority of the 153rd oh. Marines. You need to hear me. I can't Please rush this. Hurry. Okay. <laughs> Here's Johnny. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, okay, save Nami, please. Okay, she falls on you. We're good. And you're made of rubber, so it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. <laughs> Where's <is> Zoro? <laughs> How did you do that? Oh, she got her boast. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Feisty baby. Feisty baby. Eh. Hit him with it! Hit him with it! Oh! Under the leg! Sweep! 
Okay. Oh! The defensive technique. Okay, hit him with the kidney shots. Okay. Beat they kidneys up. Oh, damn! <laughs> oh. <laughs> the stunt double change was a little much, guys. It was really obvious. The stunt double change is really obvious, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> They, the the stunt double is like three times darker than Luffy, bro. You could have lightened his skin with some body makeup a little bit. That's not even the... Come on. That was a little much. There we go. That's him. Uh, Zoro? I mean, at least Zoro got his swords back. He did it on his own, too. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I like the way they're doing this. But how are they going to meet Buggy, then? Because that's kind of when they became, like, allied together was during the Buggy thing. Front from the bar? Glad I made an impression. <laughs> the imposter, the pirate hunter, and the prisoner. Imposter? A Mogus? <laughs> Fancy that. The three of yeah. you working together. Mm hmm Yeah. You're a crew. Yeah, that's You're right, we are. Oh. No way. Never mind. <laughs> I alone defeated the Black Cat Pirates. I am <laughs> Oh, really? I think Kuro would say differently. I mean, actually, not Kuro's hiding and be a little rat bitch. <laughs> Lo, captured Kuro of the Thousand Cat. He said that he captured Kuro. So that means Kuro's not going to be... Wait, then, for what do we do for the soup part? When we go meet our boy Usopp. I call him Soup, for those of you guys who are new. Oh, shit! I... Oh, I'll fuck with that, yeah. Get into it, yeah. What's Nami gonna do? Oh, she gonna beat off the side people. Okay, okay. Oh, he didn't give a fuck about you. That's crazy. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, damn! Oh my god! Okay, they made Zoro the coolest motherfucker in the cut, bruh. They made him so cool. Oh my god. This one's mine? Something corny? No? Never mind. Oh, nothing corny? Okay. Why'd he kick, why'd he kick Zoro? Okay. <laughs> it's not only the axe. Every part of his body is a weapon. I'll go high. You go low. Okay. Okay. Teamwork, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Pull up. Oh my God. Onigiri. 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 Oh. 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 He's doing. He's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. The mouth sword. Mouth sword. Mouth sword. Um. Um. He said, I pull up, bitch. I do that shit. Do that shit, Zoro. I do that shit, Zoro. That's <laughs> Luffy's so cute. <laughs> okay. I like the hair that falls down after he goes into like phase two of the boss fight. Oh, damn, the slow mo. Oh, shit. Here we go. Luffy up high. Oni. Giddy! Hit him with that shit. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Woo! Baby! Hit him, hit him high, hit him high, hit him high. Hit him, hit him low, hit him low. Hit him. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Shit. <laughs> 
Okay. Dude, let's talk about one thing that a lot of a lot of corny ass adaptions do. They hold too long on a joke. This one's pacing is so good. Rather than just like letting us sit with it and waiting for the like the little laugh moment with the fucking laugh track vibes, they're just like they say the joke and they move on instantly. Because it's like it's just the pacing just feels so satisfying. Like, holy shit. It's so good. Because whenever you do like corny ass stuff, people are kinda like, huh, mm-hmm. But you can actually genuinely enjoy it because you don't feel like it's like hitting you over the head. And also, they make it so that other characters, they don't say. It's like a show don't tell thing, right? Where they're like, they'll look at something, they'll squint, and they'll like not really say anything. But you can tell what they're thinking, right? Because of the shot angles and how they accomplish it. But the only character who is like a subversion of that is Luffy. Because Luffy always just says whatever the fuck he's thinking. He's like, ooh. X hand <laughs> like and it's dope to have that it's such a good thing to like have that distinction instead of having like every character flat out say like what they're thinking it's it's cool it's cool maybe if we find some rope or something or we can do that <laughs> yeah he got it like that damn yeah we we know how he be lifting he be lifting lifting I guess they're all going together to go see Buggy, though. That's cool. I don't mind this writing change. That's fine. They still hit key points while cha- <laughs> He has the trailer. I like that. The Marines are here already. You're under arrest. Oh, they saying that he gave him the goofy ass haircut. That's what's oh from the Zoro moment when he saw his ass naked as shit. <laughs> what's wrong with his hair? <laughs> yeah, I might have done that. <laughs> okay, Zoro and him are so cute. Zoro and Luffy are so cute. <laughs> handing you over to my father. I'm gonna stay here, right? Yeah, that's right, Kobe. Instead of doing it as a bar scene, they're sure. doing it here. That's cute. That every choice was made for me. Now I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Uh, I'm gonna just be real with you. Whoever worked on his wig, I know the 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 shoot was probably really long, but I don't think that shit settled down properly. It's kind of leaving his his head a lot. <laughs> I'm a be, you know. Glue that shit down a little bit more, buddy. Look at the, when he moves his head. Look at it. I'm gonna do it's I'm moving gonna away do. from his head. <laughs> it's funny as shit. <laughs> I'm help you We're friends. Oh my god, sweet baby angel. I love it. 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 <laughs> this is so sweet. I love this. Okay, the way that they like rewrote a lot of the parts too to make it kind of work, I really enjoy it. I don't think the changes were bad. I think that I can respect the way that they kept honorable to a lot of iconic scenes while also changing stuff. Okay, damn. What's with the. Oh shit! Garp! Garp ship! Wow, I'm surprised. This is the most nightmare fuel thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. I loved almost everything until this moment. I want this to stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> oh my god, this is so <laughs> Boo! Put on the dog hat! Or whatever the fuck. Is he wearing like a tiger or dog or something? Put on the hat! <laughs> Do you know what it is? They're just like, listen, this this gilf is too sexy. We can't hide his hair, okay? That's the reason they didn't put the, the, the little hat thingy on him. I, they knew what would sell. They're like, listen, if MILFs are trying to watch this with their kids, they want to see him. <laughs> we 
been chasing those shadows for a long time. This is different. A map to the Grand Line has been stolen. Yeah. By a pirate in a straw hat. That's right, straw hat vibes. Let's go. Oh, yeah, it's this dickhead. Oh, but he wasn't Garp's guy. He was someone else's guy, right? I'm trying to remember. Unless I'm just misremembering. Wasn't he that other weird, fat, massive dude from, like, Worship Island's guy? Like, the one who had, like, the hat? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe? You know what? I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> I don't got a good-ass memory, but I try. <laughs> just like us. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're gonna do the buggy reveal. <laughs> I mean, there were three of them. There must have been Get your unicycle, bitch ass, head ass, stupid, boogity ass, sword head ass out of here. That's what I would have said to him if I was buggy personally, but okay. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Yes! Oh my god, the way that he smacks it out of the way! It's oh my god, the way he's sitting! My man. I'm gonna get it back. Oh my god! Look at the center framing of this too, it's so good! <laughs> oh shit, oh shit! Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, I love it. 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 Oh my god. Did we just finally get a good anime adaptation to live action? Is it finally here? This one is one that has like the most potential. Did we actually get a good one? What it, uh, the gods have blessed us. <laughs> Holy hell. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for all your love and support here on, on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. I also have a second channel where I do variety reactions. We act like Rat Max or Internet Historian. And even like do gameplay shit on there. So I hope you check it out. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys later. For those of you guys on Patreon, stick around. We'll talk about the episode more. For those of you guys over on the YouTube, thanks again. Bye.